right, welcome back for another video here with Taco Stacks, doing something a little bit different. Uh, we have this very, very cool catalog. This is the last Sears catalog ever produced. And uh, one thing I kind of like about this, and one thing I'm gonna really enjoy about this video is we're kind of going to go back in time. So when you could first originally buy these items and items that I've been trying to find at thrift stores or flea markets or yard sales, or whatever it might be, a garage sale, maybe even in the trash. You could have bought that brand new, which you can buy brand new right now, um, in this catalog. So this is going to probably jog back a lot of memories for you uh, and for anyone who might be a collector of 90s stuff or maybe 80s stuff. This is going to be right up your alley. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to probably be a pretty long video, so I'm going to probably shut up here shortly. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to flip through every page. But we can definitely check out a lot of different genres and themes in this. 1,500 pages. We're not going to go through every single one, but uh, let's check it out. Jog back some memories of the golden age, the earlier age, the younger age. Sears catalog. So one thing that's really cool of this is a lot of people seem to have really went out and tried to find this catalog when uh, it was known that this was going to be the last one because... Well, one thing, or one, one thing that a lot of people probably forget is Sears used to be one of those things and catalogs used to be one of those things that you had to go ahead, have this catalog, get ready to call this number, um, give them your credit card information, all that fun stuff in order to buy something. The internet really wasn't a thing in 1993. Uh, there was no Amazon, there was no eBay. So if you really want something, you had to either call it for it or go to the store. So things like this is really interesting because not only is this, you know, a blast from the past in terms of nostalgia, but, you know, this was the way of life. If you wanted something, you had to call and order one. And I hope that, you know, whatever you were buying was actually what you were buying. Uh, so one thing I know is also, at least ha here we go, we got some uh, women's clothes, uh, is it starts off with women's clothes. I wonder what is the intention with that uh, maybe this is the most sought after stuff so they want to put this first could possibly be but look at the styles look at the uh, attire the shoulder pads up here on the uh, the blazer nowadays shoulder pads really aren't a thing but if you like the vintage look I mean this is the vintage look Look at the plaid. If at any point you want to stop the video, you can definitely go ahead and stop the video if you want to look at each individual page. But look, denim. Huge thing in the 90s. The sleeveless denim shirt. Denim is something that is very nostalgic, very vintage. Uh, it's coming back around. Old old denim is really really sought after, but sleeveless denim shirt. Who would ever think? Uh, also, like the prices on these, you would think they'd be insanely cheap, but you have to remember this is 1993. This is not 1943. It's 1993. Uh, to go off some of the uh, the prices, let's go ahead with the the jeans. Jeans are $38, not too crazy, um, but this shirt up here, $20. If you want it striped, $22. So lots and lots of clothes. I mean, look at the denim, just it's an insane amount. The classic, or the cotton classics. Game to the bathing suits. The one-piece look. More denim. Denim was a thing. <laughs> look at that. High-waisted shorts. This whole outfit. It was a look. You're getting into your sweater wear. So look, looking back on this, this was what? This was spring-summer. So yes, you're not going to see a lot of fall or winter stuff. You're going to get a lot of summer stuff. Look at the blazers. $50. $52. 
insane amount of clothes. We're at page 93, we're still on clothes. And then we kind of get into jewelry. One thing I would say with this is, it is insane to me, like I said, with the, the calling and paying the money and doing all that, but people would shell out $300, $499, so $500, $300 for something called a nugget. It says 14, whatever this is, this is, uh, this is your, your nugget, $300. Insane. Got pocket watches. Only 50 bucks. Your choice. $50. 50% less on 14 karat gold chains through April 30th. Does it say how, uh, no, it doesn't say how, oh, it says weight 0.31 pounds. I don't know what that is equivalent to ounces, and I don't know what that has to do at all with scrap gold or whatever. Um, I, I have no idea. It's 14K gold religious jewelry down here. But the prices are all over the board for this thing that says 0.31 ounces or 0.31 pounds. It's like fifty dollars for a seven-inch herringbone, which is this. But wouldn't like a twenty-four-inch herringbone weigh more than 0.31 pounds? Not sure. Watches on watches on watches. Look at the Disney here on the bottom right. Lots of Mickey stuff. Disney was really hot in the 90s. I think it was really hot in the 90s because I was born in the 90s. And I guess that's when you're kind of around it the most. But uh, it really did produce a lot of collectibles in the 90s. Wow. These kind of shoes I see everywhere. Raised loafers. Other casuals. funny thing is like this kind of stuff more dressy kind of shoes never really increased in value as opposed to like nikes and reeboks back in the clothing page 206 back in the clothing and now we'll get into the kids room just look at everything i mean look at the borders borders was a huge thing you have borders up here as well And furniture, like I said, this is 1993. This is in 1943. Furniture was not cheap. Not cheap at all. Pine crib, I guess that's that one, because that would be your crib, uh, by itself is 160 bucks. Is that maybe this one? One nice thing is they do have, uh, well, this page doesn't have it. You kind of just have to know what you're looking at. The pine dressing table. I assume that would be that, even though it's painted in white and this one is not painted. I assume that just because it's painted, it's the same thing. This would go here because that's a spindle crib, and that's a spindle crib, and that's not a spindle crib. But this thing, $110. But the pine dressing table, that's that, that's $100. Car seats, wow, those look vintage. They don't look comfortable either. Well, play pens. What is this? Oh, that's your, yeah, that's for that. Children's fitting room. Wow, so a weird thing about the 1993, this kid's gotta be like six or seven, maybe he's eight. So if you're eight in 1993, I don't know how old you are, because I can't do the math on my top of my head. That guy's got to be what, in his like 30s, late 30s? Math isn't the best right now. More baby stuff. Lots of Batman. Lots of Batman. So a lot of this stuff, 
Uh, nowadays, kids' clothes, I'm surprised kids' clothes aren't more valuable than what they are, but I guess because kids grow up so fast that you kind of just run through them. But um, a lot of the vintage clothes, at least the adult size, went up in value, but kids really never really did. Look at the bowl cut. My brother had a bowl cut. And he looked exactly like that. And now uh, he had blonde hair, and now he has dark brown hair. I do think it's kind of neat how they went from women's clothes to jewelry to kids' clothes. Kind of the whole business and marketing aspect to me is very interesting. And why they would prioritize certain departments first. I guess now we're into like the teenagers. When you buy any two pocket t-shirt, save $2. Tropic Blues t-shirt has logo on pocket. For stone kids. Womp womp. Thought this guy was older. I guess also like the hairstyles. I mean, that's a big thing with age. Like you look back on people who were in their 20s and the 80s. And a lot of people are like, wow, why do they look so old if they're 20 years old? It's just more about the age and the uh, the styles that you kind of had and you associate people with that era. You know, it's kind of like how you dress, whatever it might be. So here's the kind of stuff that I like is all the sports stuff. Yeah, very typical. <laughs> well, you have the satin jacket. These, uh... I don't know if we're in kids yet. No, we're still in kids. I mean, I don't know if we're in adults. That's interesting. You go from that to that. With no, like, intro page either. It really is a lot of clothes, man. It's just bananas with the amount of clothes. Look at the graphics on that. Oh, and they're on the old screen stars. That's a very cool logo. Um, as someone who collects this kind of stuff, it's kind of cool to see like an old screen stars tag on something and then see it in a, you know, in a catalog. So we just have, we have what looks like one page of t-shirts. That's about it. And shoes, the amount of clothes. We're 400 pages into this and we're still on clothes. Now we're into bedding. You know, aside from maybe like the wallpaper and the print you have on the wall, I feel like you can kind of get some of these beddings at Walmart. I mean, I don't think you can get that color green. Deep green. The floral design was really, really hot, I can see. Light apricot. Floral design was really, really sought after. Look at it, you match the, uh, the curtains or the drapes. Wow. <laughs> Flower, any size floral pattern and comforter, $40. They really like the floral stuff. I guess if you ever needed bedding stuff, you just go into this thing and look. Hey, look. Oh, now we're in a bathroom. Wow. Look at the colorway on that. Bayberry. He had choice. Bayberry. English rose. Strawberry burgundy. Peach mist. They really went with the uh, pastel colors. Oh, my goodness. Wow. They really like these colors. This would be considered vintage nowadays. Lots of bad furniture. I can't tell you how many of these vanties I see out in the trash that look exactly like that. And a lot of people say, those are from the 80s, those are from the 90s. 
Yeah, you could have bought it right here in this catalog. Probably people did, and that's what they have. I mean, when are you gonna really renovate? You know, if something's not broken, don't fix it. A lot of people live by that mentality and that thoughts and, and lifestyle. So, I mean, if you keep that for 40, 50 years, whatever it might be, or 30 years, if it never breaks, why would you want to update it? Why would you want to fix it? Keep it. Spend your money on something else. I mean, look at the sinks. Fiesta Cranberry Deep. Like, just the colors are just like, nowadays it's white, gray, black. That's it. And even like getting like that, like that sink, I, I don't see a lot of people putting that sink in their house. I see a lot of people putting this sink in. Not cranberry either. Some medicine cabinets. Look at that toilet. Cranberry deep. It's crazy. Look at those colors. Amazing. It's amazing. It really is. That is probably the most modern thing I've seen here. Some charcoal gray blinds. Drapery was a huge thing. Huge thing. Oh my goodness, now we're getting to the rugs. Four foot by five foot by eight inches. $34.99. Buy yourself a rug gripper. And one thing that's also I've noticed kind of when flipping through this is anytime you buy something by itself, it's going to be more money. But if you add it on to something else, they give you a little discount. So originally these things for a two by eight foot would be $12. But if you buy it with a rug, it's only $10. And guess what? The more you buy, the larger you buy, the more you save. 8 foot by 11 foot. Originally $42.99, but if you buy it with something else, you save yourself a whopping $7, if my math is correct, and it's $34.99. 7, was that right? That was wrong. It's 8. But it's close enough. You save yourself $8 as opposed to if you get the small one, you save yourself $2. More rugs, more rugs. Carpet. Fringed oval. Oh, wow. Look at the mirrors. Get yourself a mirror. Mirrors are not cheap either. That's another thing. Nowadays, mirrors are so expensive and I see them everywhere because they are so specific towards the room and your style. There's just a gajillion out there. This mirror right here is $70. This mirror right here is $90. That one's $100. It is crazy. So we're out of the clothes. I think the clothes are done. We're into clocks. I see this one everywhere too. 80 bucks. And you have some mantle clocks as well. How much is the cuckoo? The cuckoo clock is a hundred bucks. A hundred smackaroos. There is no discount here if you buy anything else with it. It just looks like that's what it is. But one thing that's nice is they put the letter here, which goes right next to whatever this is. So this is K, and they tell you exactly what it is. It's a handsome split. Pendant wall clock, $150. And lamps. Everything and everything. Brass lamps to tier based lamps. You have some banker's desk lamp, uh, reading lamps, swing arm lamps. You got it all. Everything and everything. Bunch of floor lamps. You even have one with a magazine rack. You have one with a drop leaf table. This is, um, well, I don't know what that is. 
what does it say? Queen Anne table floor lamp. Look at the lampshades too. I'm surprised there's not a lampshade section. You have some gone with the wind lamps. Your crystal glass. Wow, I see these things everywhere also. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So uh, my friend Mark, who has the trailer and he just fills up a bunch of bins and stuff, um, he had this exact Chicago Bulls lamp there. And I told my friend uh, Mike, um, hey, look, man, he's got a Chicago Bulls lamp. And he's like, wow, that's interesting. And we were thinking about it. And I think we said there should probably also be a Chicago Bulls lampshade that went with it, but I guess there's not. Uh, but you have your, really, you have your 90s teams here. You have your Bulls, you have your Bears, you have your Raiders, um, and the 49ers, to just name a couple there. Uh, you have some other ones like Lakers and Mets and Cubs, but uh, you really do have your 90s teams there. And they have the Bulls pretty much right in the front, right in the middle, I should say. That is funny. Oh, get yourself some furniture. It's amazing to me because I look at these couches and I'm like, wow, they look outdated. But then again, it's 1993. Holy moly. These curio cabinets are expensive. I left one in the trash the other day. I looked at it, I was like, wow, that's heavy. I mean, right here, a thing half the size is $600. Insane. Yep. You have some microwave cards, some quilt racks. Let's see what this quilt rack is. Uh, that's letter F. $30. Oh, if you buy just one, it's $40. Wow. This mirror, I've come across the same mirror so many times, and I'm pretty sure in a future trash picking video, you'll see I left this. Um, because this whole part was broken. Well, it's not the same exact one, but I took the globe. Uh, that one is $120 with the magazine rack. They have some jewelry cabinets. Now you get into your office furniture. <laughs> this is so classic. You have salsa walking around. You hear some chattering. Desks. More desks. Chairs. Oh, that's a nice bench. Can you see what the price is of just the bench? Table, two sides, chair, and bench. Uh, the bench itself is $150 just for that. Wow. And I know these tables are not cheap. They're $150 a piece too. This one up here is $500 just for the table. Those are awesome. Look at the colors on that bar set. <laughs> they call it 50s dining. Because that's exactly the colors, but I mean, in 93, they were doing 50 stuff. More bedrooms. Man, we've been working on those bedrooms and desks and interior stuff for quite some time here. We're at page 830. Get yourself a mattress. That's one thing I still don't understand is why so many mattresses are that floral print. I wonder what the whole thought process on that is. Maybe to hide, like you'll see, there's no really like white mattresses. Maybe that idea was to hide colors and stains in your mattress, was to put a floral design. Because if you had a solid, solid color and you have a little stain in it, and this is very similar to a lot of different things. Like when you're doing, let's say, oh, I'll get back to this. When you have this floral design and you have like a little you know, green stain there, that might go, you know, it's going to blend in with the flowers. Or if you have a little blue stain or whatever it might be, it's going to blend in with the flowers. Uh, if you have a solid color and similar to like t-shirt designs, if you have a solid screen, screen printed color and you have a spot or you have a little piece of lint that's on the screen print, you're going to see a difference in the product. If it's a distressed 
that's going to kind of distract you from it. So similar to this, they add that, I guess, to just be a distraction. If not, I'm completely wrong and I'm going on some tangent that completely irrelevant, but very smart. I would say that. So many mattresses. And now we're back to chairs. They like to kind of flip you through this, like we go from this room to that room, back to this room. Maybe it's the kind of, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's kind of bring you back. Like, oh yeah, you know what? Let me go back, check that, you know, because we're on t-shirts. Oh, let me go back to that first page because, you know, I, I thought I saw t-shirts over there. We're back to furniture. Tablecloths, 30 bucks, 20 bucks. Get yourself some cookware. Buy in sets. Chandeliers. Lighting. If you're someone who's into lighting or electrical, here you go, some 90s lighting. Energy efficient fluorescence. If only they knew how many times they changed the light bulbs and the laws on light bulbs nowadays. Uh oh, we're getting farther and farther away from the house. Now we're on the outside of the house. The hell we are. <laughs> Lighting to light up your house on the exterior side. And now we're back inside. Ceiling fans. Sixty bucks. Pretty cheap. I thought they'd be a lot more. Stackables. Storage. More storage. These are kind of nice. I like these. I mean, I would put them in my house. Air conditioners. Wow. Look at the style in the air conditioners. I mean, they don't even look like that anymore either. Can we go back? Is there a page? Yeah. That is so 90s. They look more like this and that. I can't even imagine. Like, I can't. I've never seen these in the store. That is just bonkers. I guess brown was a big color, too. It seems like there's a lot of brown models. Maybe to match the wood. Like, a lot of people might have a wood, wood uh, panel. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people have that paneling in their house. Pine paneling. Maybe to kind of match that from the 80s. Alright, now this is going to make me feel really stupid because I thought portable air conditioners was a thing that was made like within the last 8 to 10 years. Apparently not. But there were $700 back then. And that's for the cheapest one. They got up to about 812 Wow. You really could buy everything and everything. Water filters. More mirrored, mirrored doors. Storm doors. You can really buy everything and everything. Patio covers and screen exposures. Buy yourself a carport. Wow. Cast aluminum chairs. I see these once in a while. Usually they're in white. They're black here. Uh, letter D, armchair, $100 just for that one armchair. The two-person settee, $160 right next to it. Back to the floral. Floral was hot. I also love the uh, the photos on this, like they put fake grass or whatever, and then they just put a blue backdrop. You know, it looks like AstroTurf. This looks like AstroTurf here. And they just put a gray wall. 
right behind it. And this one's kind of like dark on like the top right and it's lighter over here. It's just, it's crazy how different uh, technology has also become in photography. You know? Galvanized steel swimming pools. Buy a whole pool through a catalog. Hey, look, it's a pup. I would say it looks like the other creature that's around, but she's hiding, or she's on the other side of this, and if I call her, she's going to get all fired up. Pet beds. Post hole diggers. Now you're getting to the tools. Tools and garden. Sprayers, wow. Once in a while I'll find a spreader that looks like this, but they are pretty rare. The only time I'd really ever find one is probably at an auction. Unbelievable. How much is that? $35 for that. I think nowadays they're around $45, $50 for a spreader. These ones are a little cheaper. Uh, this one's the same price. Wow. $35. I would say it's a little, it's probably around there today. Price of spreaders has not really increased way too much. Wow. Look at that vintage lawnmower. $250. Phew. Sheesh. As they say nowadays. All right, so we're getting into the tool section, which I think a lot of people, at least, uh, who might be in the flea market business or auction business know a lot about tools. And, you know, if you come across tools like this, the one thing here in America was always, oh, it's a craftsman. You can take it to Sears and get a brand new one. Lifetime warranty. So, uh, yeah, I guess Sears really, wow. Yeah, Sears had, a, <laughs> Sears had a, lot of, a lot of tools. What in the world? Craftsman mechanics tool set with eight drawer chest and five drawer rollout. Tool set, tool set. What? Oh, okay. All right, now this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> you get all these 578 pieces with the tool chest. I was thinking to myself, I was like, $2,000 for that? That would be insanity. Uh, but no, I guess you get like pretty much all these tools, which there's a lot there. Um, but that's over a dollar a piece. And then it's also like $1,500 for the toolbox. I'm not thinking that's a great deal, to be honest with you. I'm not thinking that's a great deal. Oh, yeah, this drawer is one thing. That's $400, which I think is insanity also because you come across them at pretty much every house auction around here. Not necessarily Craftsman, but you can get a competitive one for, you know, around $40, $50. Might even find Craftsman. Wow, there's a lot here. Yeah, so they have a uh, they have quite the amount of tools. You can get a lot of different things. Storage containers. You usually come across a lot of these, uh, which might have like four or five rusty sockets in them. Get yourself a wrench. Nine-piece standard wrench set. The set's only twenty dollars. That's pretty cheap. Uh, seven piece. Uh, this one doesn't go up to an inch. That's why. You go from five sixteenths to three quarters. So it's smaller wrenches. Lots and lots of tools. I feel like tools really haven't got that different. I mean, adjustable wrench is an adjustable wrench. Same with a screwdriver. They really do have a lot. A lot of tool chests. Different colors. You get the red one or the black one. Get a vise, hammers, mahogany, wood level, hand, ha uh, thing about hammers, uh, level, mahogany, wood levels. Then you have the aluminum ones. All right, so I found one of these in the trash not too long ago, $550, brand new. Very similar one, if not the same one. More saws, you get different blades for the saws. More saws, these band saws. Holy moly, we're getting to trucks. 
There's more bits. Get yourself a hammer, or a, get yourself a ladder. You can even get yourself a sun tanning bed. Or should I just say a tanning bed? From Sears, $3,000. Holy cow. This can't be real either. This is, is this real? This is definitely real. Oh, these are for like the accessories. Wow. Although this thing is kind of split, that is so iconic. That sun visor, or they called it a moon visor for trucks. That and these uh, fairings. That is so 90s. Look at them, they got them too. Cup coolers. More accessories. Get yourself a ladder rack. You literally could buy like anything. You literally could buy anything from these. That is crazy. I mean, you're buying ladder racks, accessories for vehicles, all the way to clothing, to new toilets. You can do it all. Different headers you want, radiators. Look at that. <laughs> radar and radar, uh, radar and laser detectors. Not even like legal in most states. They seem to like this Mickey Thompson brand tire. I've seen three of them now. Which are arguably one of the better tires out there. Now we're back to kid stuff. Bicycles. Didn't even get a tent. Wow. If only you can go back in time and invest in Microsoft and Apple. Not necessarily buy a computer, but buy their stock. Get yourself a guitar, electric guitars on the right, $159. These are 200 bucks up here. More musical instruments. All right, for any of the gamer people out there, Holy moly. If only you can go back and even video games weren't, weren't that cheap. I mean, Nintendo Game Boy games, $30. $31.99. $24.99. Super Mario Land was only $20. Uh, but to buy them sealed and keep them sealed, I feel you probably could have got some uh, decent money for them. The Nintendo games are a little bit more, which I think is kind of crazy. About $45 for an original Nintendo game. I don't know which game here is probably worth the most amount of money out there, but this one looks pretty neat. This one says Something Island. Um, Adventure Island 3. Wow. I do think it's kind of weird how we only have, what, two pages here? Sega Game Gear, Sears, Sega Super CD. I've never heard of that system. That must be a pretty rare one. $300. I do think how a large portion of kids nowadays, and even adults, I mean, not a large portion of adults, but a lot of kids growing up play a lot of video games nowadays, and to look at a Sears catalog, and essentially this would be the whole toy section would only be two pages or four pages. It's kind of weird. It's kind of different. 
even though I guess you're really not buying this stuff for your kids, like a vacuum cleaner. Get your kid to do some vacuuming. Old canister vacuum cleaners. <laughs> and they put this at the end. So here we have made it all the way to the end. The last possible thing you can possibly buy is a washer and dryer. On page 1482, that's going to wrap it up. So very, very cool here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different uh, than the usual videos, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, and it was really cool to go back and kind of look through the Sears catalog with you guys and girls and uh, kind of jog back a lot of memories I had, a lot of things I also still see out in the wild today, and to kind of just see the prices and compare them to what you know I am able to sell for or what I am able to buy it for or you can buy it for or you can sell it for was really cool. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comment section uh, if you guys would like to see an older one, maybe one from like the 60s, 70s, whatever it might be. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, and I'll catch you guys next time, next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.